Welcome to Gap Inc. Voice Messaging System. One new message. Hi, this is Don Fisher, and I hope all of you are as excited as I am to be part of a revolution in the apparel retailing industry. The fact that we're selling good quality and great style at very competitive prices puts us in the position to surprise the industry. I think this could be the biggest division in the company in the long run. So good luck to all of you, and I'm going to keep an eye on each one of your stores every single day. Thanks. I think it took me five minutes to make a decision. Actually, even maybe less than that. I said yes right away, and then I realized actually I should go home and at least talk to my husband about it. We uh, didn't have any computers. We didn't have a copy machine or a fax machine. There were five of us doing the entire thing. We could literally yell to every single key person in the organization, every person in the organization at that point. You know, it was so easy. You know, I could be in my office and I opened the door and I could just say, oh, let's have a meeting. And everybody would be coming in and we some sit on the chairs, some sit on the floor. I think that we all thought it was fun and it was an exciting new place to be and that the opportunity was huge and that it would be big, but I don't think, I don't know if anybody ever thought that it would be this big. There were new ideas bouncing off the walls and um, all of the new ideas and the innovation happened. As we started to see the product get better, you just knew that the, um, the possibilities would be endless. We were desperate, seriously, for a name. We, we hire a naming company. Some of the names that they came up with that I can remember, Forklift. Something Shaft or something like that. But there were even worse ones. There were ones like Arizona Beach, I think Elevator. So he said, OK, here's my all-time favorite, uh, Monorail. Uh, toward the end of reviewing all these names, Mickey said, how about Old Navy? And somebody says, well, where'd you get the name Old Navy? So while I was driving down the street in Paris and there was a bar called Old Navy, I thought it was a good name. I thought it was going to be something to do with the Navy and a big boat or ship of some sort. Nobody had ever heard of it. It was like Old Gravy, Old Lady, Old Navy. What is that? Was there a, is there a new Navy? What is Old Navy? And all the old men were coming in thinking they were going to get like Army Navy canteens and camo. It sounds like it was, there was a sense of history. And, um, and I think that's the piece we fought, fell in love with. The people are what make this company, and that no one person makes this company. I think a typical Old Navy employee is somebody that is uh, fun. Friendly. Fun. We all like to be really friendly, fun, upbeat, that's a people person. Fun. A sense of humor. Quirky. Confident. Open to ideas. Non-risk adverse. Somewhat fearless. Is ambitious. Passionate. If they want to talk about aluminum siding and they're excited about it, then I know that they can get excited about the product. We work hard and we get the job done. I believe that, that people who don't work at Old Navy yet really do want to work here and they just haven't realized it yet, but, but everybody wants to be here. There was a lot of intensity around that store opening. It was our first store in Manhattan. It was just um, a, a completely off the hook. We had people waiting um, lines around the block. We had a, a big band um, uh, marching into the store. They stopped the traffic, and all of a sudden they rolled up the curtain in front of the store, and there were the uh, Rockettes from Rockefeller Center kicking their legs up and down. And then I remember jumping onto the back of a truck that was one of our marketing trucks so that I could see over all the thousands of people that were crowding on six. That's the day that, that like um, everything really started. I mean, it was like almost that scene in Jaws where they're like, oh my God, we need a bigger boat. Um, we looked around and we said, oh my God, we need more registers because there was just so many people. You know, there was so much joy in the air around, you know, this one store and the personality that it had. The Rugby Bunch. The Rugby Bunch. That's the way we became old ladies. Rugby Bunch. Oh no, that, that's something I refuse to do. I'm not. <laughs> Mama Shake what your mama gave you. Cargo. cargo fever. You got to boogie down. 
Old Navy paint. No. <clears throat> item of the week. Item of the week. A new item every week. Price so low you can't say no. The selection just can't be beat. Yeah. This ought to tide me over. I did go up. I did go up. <laughs> I did not know singing was mandatory. I'm going, going to go, to go with you with as my guest. In performance, please. please I'll, I'll be the best dress. Old Navy, Old Navy, Old Navy performance, please. Old Navy, Old Navy performance, please. Um, we did this whole contest around and had candy bars, but on the store side, we had to count those candy bars and actually lock them in the safe every night. Painting buckets, plastic buckets. When the buckets arrived at the store, the paint had melted because it was so hot out. Night shirts for men was it was a problem. The gold lame bathing suit. Well, it was hard to explain to employees that they um, body care when we rolled out body care was a little challenging. They had to smell like a fruit. I think the quality of the product and the price of the product, definitely. I know that's why people come back. The flag tees were really a great success. People feel comfortable in our buildings, both to work and to shop. I think just the personality of the company in our advertising and also through the people that work here. The great thing about it was the customer loved the product. It didn't matter what we put on the tables, I swear, it just it blew out. Ten years. Uh, that's the biggest success story. I think anybody you sat down and talked to through this whole process would tell you the people. I think I stay because there's huge opportunities for growth, development. I think the leadership is amazing. Amazing people along the way who have fostered that spirit of development and opportunity and learning and growth. And the fact that it's always evolving. I feel like over the last 10 years I've worked for five different companies even though I've always been with Old Navy. I get to the opportunity to work with an incredible team and with incredible leaders and it keeps me motivated and inspired every day. Well, a 20% discount doesn't, uh, doesn't hurt too much either. I think Old Navy is something that is one of the very few things that is, tr is better than what I ever, ever can imagine. And that's something very special. Not many people can really um, experience something like that. Congratulations, Old Navy, on an incredible achievement over a 10-year period. You're the envy of the entire retailing industry throughout the world. And I want to wish you a happy 10th birthday. Now can I eat the cake?